I'm going to show you how to go from this to this to this to this. I'm working on a new messenger bag project and I thought it'd be informative to show how I went from a sketch of the pattern to an actual pattern that I can use to replicate the same bag over and over again should I choose to. I happen to have an old messenger bag that I used many years ago uh, that I could take some reference measurements from to kind of get the general shape and honestly I, I cheated and copied something from the internet. But what I ended up with was a, a pretty rough sketch of what the piece of fabric that will be folded and sewn together to make the messenger bag body will look like. So knowing the shape that I wanted was helpful, but I still needed to know the sizes of all the different dimensions of the pattern. For measuring my existing messenger bag and knowing that I wanted to make this bag a little bit smaller, I decided on a width of 40 centimeters. And and you can figure that out in inches if you want to, but I like using metric. Using that 40 centimeter width as a baseline, you can then extrapolate all the other dimensions. But to get an accurate pattern uh, from those dimensions can be a little bit tricky. So here's what I did. Um, to start with, I have this old template that has a scale on it, a one to 120 scale. And what that means is every inch on this scale is equivalent to one foot. No. And what that means is every inch on this scale is equivalent to 10 feet. Now that's useless to me making a bag. So I used it uh, as if the scale were one inch is 10 centimeters. And the scale is divided into uh, subdivisions of 10. So it makes a great conversion for metric. So by using this scale, four inches is equal to the 40 centimeters that I'm looking for. And from that, I can then build the rest of the pattern out. So now I have a scaled drawing of the pattern that I want to make. And now I need to take this and transfer it onto something larger. Now you could just do it straight onto your fabric if you're just going to make one bag. But uh, I'm going to make it on cardboard so I can make many bags uh, whenever I feel like it. By the way, I'm going to post a picture of this scale drawing on my Instagram account. Uh, if you're watching this 15 years in the future and it's not there, well, sorry. But if you happen to be watching this somewhat contemporaneously, uh, until I find a better place to put stuff, you can find it on Instagram. So now it's pretty simple. I just have to transfer the measurements in full scale onto my cardboard that I'm using for a pattern. I've mentioned this in other videos, but this is a product called Ram Board. It is a floor protector that's sold at home improvement centers. One tip besides not having a cat in the way uh, is you want to start in the center of your pattern. Come here. Another tip is if you want to draw a straight line by making reference points where that line's going to be, uh, if you want to make that line straight, draw three points. If you draw only two, it's too easy to have your straight edge not be perfectly aligned and the line may be not exactly where it's supposed to be at one end or the other. So now that I have a reference line in the middle, I can just draw out my pattern making sure it's centered on that line. So to start with, I have a 70 centimeter line on the bottom and uh, half of 70 is 35, so just make sure that 35 is on the center line. So now that I have my 70 centimeter line that represents the bottom of the pattern, the next lines are gonna go up 27 centimeters on each end. Now, before I just go drawing lines, I wanna make sure that I stay 70 centimeters wide for this part of the pattern. So I'm gonna make some more marks at 70 centimeters wide. And I can just take a look and see where 27 centimeters is so I don't make marks that 
are going too far up. Now I can make my 27 centimeter lines. And now I can check and make sure that they're still 70 centimeters all the way up, and they are. Now I'll do the same process for the 15 centimeter lines coming in from the outside edges. I'll measure up 27 centimeters a couple of places to make sure that I stay straight, and then I'll measure and mark that line. The next section of the pattern is 40 centimeters wide. I'm going to center my ruler on 20 centimeters and make some marks to make sure that I keep those lines straight. Now I'm going to go this way 15 centimeters. The top section of the pattern, which is going to make up the flap that closes the messenger bag, is 42 centimeters wide. So I need to bump this out a centimeter on each side. And the flap is going to be 62 centimeters long, and that's from this point here. I'll make myself a reference mark in the center to measure from. You'll notice I made a mistake here. I should have started the pattern closer down to the bottom edge of my pattern material. It's not quite to the edge here, but I'm gonna round this corner on the pattern anyway, so it's okay, but oops. So again, to make sure that the flap uh, part of the pattern stays consistent, uh, rather than just striking a line to where I just measured to, I'm gonna make some marks at 42 centimeters wide uh, at three points so that I can keep a straight line. Now my pattern's ready to cut out. This process is really helpful if you have a cat. Now I just need something I can use to consistently round off these corners. Alexa, what can I use to round off the corners? Uh. So now the pattern is full, uh, the pattern is complete. And if I've done it correctly, I should be able to use it to cut out the lining fabric of the bag that I'm working on, and it should exactly match the exterior fabric that I already cut out. So there's the piece I've cut out, and Here's the piece that I cut out prior to making this pattern. As you can see, they're a uh, close enough match that uh, they'll work just fine. Oh, okay, so I cut off part of this one for reasons that aren't worth going into, but that one's made out of multiple pieces, but pattern works. So now I can replicate this bag as many times as I want until I ruin that pattern and have to make another one. So that's how I made a pattern from a sketch. Uh, and made it to scale so that my dimensions are all going to be accurate when I make the finished product. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to make a messenger bag, that's coming up uh, as soon as I finish actually making the two bags that I'm working on. So if you want to see that and you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss it. Speaking of subscribers, uh, I'm about to break 3,000 subscribers, which is zero on the internet and I realize that but man that's way more than I ever thought I'd get to so thank you all of you who have subscribed for watching and subscribing and commenting I really appreciate it, it makes it worth going through the not insignificant amount of work it takes to make videos like this so thanks if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them in the comments section below and as always thanks for watching